I'm back YouTube. How the heck are you all doing? Feels good to be home. I am back from my experience at Fort Knox, Kentucky. I was there for Cadet Basic Camp, which is a two-part process. The first part is what I went to this, this summer, which is a one-month process called Basic Camp at uh, Fort Knox, Kentucky. This is for all Army ROTC cadets. It is becoming mandatory now. And next summer will be Cadet Advanced Camp, which is a little more tactics-based, a little more leadership-based, that kind of thing. This was mostly, there was a lot of tactics and leadership stuff in, in it as well, but it's a lot more of the basic soldiering skills and stuff like that. But I'm back now. I feel good to be back. I'm happy to be back in uh, my glorious state of Michigan because I hate Kentucky. So today I got something special for you. I am going to do a quick little unboxing of a thing I ordered while I was gone. I finally got to pick it up. And uh, my next video will actually be a review on it, along with I have another thing coming in the mail soon, which I will get hopefully today, honestly. You guys see that too, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's turn this camera around and uh, see what else we're looking at today. So I may have already opened the box, and uh, it, it, you can tell the box has been opened. You can see a little sneak peek of what's inside there. I was excited to see what I got, so here it is. Just a quick little simple brown box. Pull out some of the packaging and pull the main thing out. And here it is. A Vortex Spark AR Red Dot. Now this is their newest Red Dot. They had the Spark 2 originally, and that's been a great Red Dot for them for many years. And I wanted to try out the new one. Well, I mean, why not? It's brand new. Same price for both of them, so I went with this one. There is the bottom of it. It has a 2 MOA Red Dot. And one good thing about Vortex that I really appreciate is that they're a lifetime warranty. They stand behind their products. You know, when you're getting a Vortex, it's going to last. If it doesn't last forever, they will replace it, and you get a brand new one, no matter how far down the line. So here's some of the stats, some of the specifications on it. It is 2.9 inches long. It weighs in at 7.5 ounces. It has a lens diameter of 22 millimeters, unlimited eye relief, obviously. Uh, and this uses a AAA battery, which is a lot nicer than using those small watch batteries that the other ones use. A lot easier to find. I mean, you can find AAAs anywhere. So if it's an SH2S situation, end of the world situation, you need to find new batteries, you can easily find AAAs. So the estimated battery life at the max brightness is 300 hours, but there's nothing to shake at. And for the uh, minimum brightness is 5,000 hours, which is extremely nice as well. So let's open up the box real quick and see what you get inside. Inside, it is nice. It has this uh, kind of foam styrofoam protector. I've already removed the plastic covering, so let's look at the main red dot itself. I already have the battery in there, so this is what you're getting. Very, very nice. It does have a rubber shell on it, which I plan to pop off. It looks a lot nicer without it off. And they do has, have two lens caps, which are nesting. So you pop them off, you flip them over, and you can pop them like so inside each other so they're not in your way. Very nice field of vision. The glass is super clear. I was looking through it, and I could see no distortion at all. So let's uh, power this bad boy on, see if you guys can uh, see... Try to line that up for you. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I don't know how that's working. But it's on in there, I promise. Now, the one thing about this is there is a... Put it up real close. There, you guys can see it now. It's kind of bright. Let me turn this light off real quick. Bam. There you go. So it has a very nice view. We probably blast that bottle of hops right now. So that is nice. So I believe as I had it on full brightness, and it does remember which setting you had it on last. So if you had it on the, set that, the brightest setting, turn it off, turn it back on, it's going to be on that setting again. And to turn it off, you simply just hold down the down arrow for five seconds, and bam, it's off. So I really do like how the controls are directly here in the back. So you have no issue being able to get to it. You don't got to reach on the side, you don't got to kind of guess what you're feeling. You know what you're getting. The battery compartment is right there. As I said before, it is one AAA battery. It is a nitrogen uh, purge system, so it's going to be, you're not going to have the issue about fogging up or anything inside like that. No water vapors inside. It does have a this rubber coating right here on the outside, and I plan on taking it off because it looks a lot sleeker, and I really don't care too much. I mean, it's made of solid aircraft grade aluminum, so I'm not going to worry much about denting it up. So what else we got in the box over here? So over here you have your main riser, which is, I believe, 37 millimeters. So it's this with the main riser on here, you're going to have absolute co-witness. Now if you add the other riser over here, which is another 3 millimeters, you will have lower one-third co-witness. You will put this with the main riser and the red dot on top of it, which will give you the absolute, the uh, lower one-third co-witness if you're into that kind of stuff. 
Now, the only downside about this is there's not a mounting to have it flush for, like, shotguns. This is only meant for, uh, it's meant for ARs, hence the name Spark AR. And over here, you have these two lens caps, right? Here. Not lens cap, but uh, windage and elevation caps. Those are real nice as well. And the thing is, if you do unscrew them, you can see the little notches like this. You can use them, the, uh, the notches, to turn it inside out and turn the nozzle. Or, if you're me, you can just use a coin. There's another added feature right there. Now, this right here is... I, I like it so far. I haven't had a chance to use it, but looking at it, it looks very clean. And for the money I paid for it, it's uh, a great deal in red dots. Especially when you're comparing it to some of the higher-end offerings like Aimpoint, EOTech, um, some of the other ones. Trigicon makes some good ones. MRO, MROs, those are nice. Vortex really is a good company that makes great optics. So I hope you guys enjoy this little review and unboxing. I will be slapping it on my AR and shooting it soon. I just have a, don't have a chance to get to the range. Once again, this is the package that comes in like this. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and as always, YouTube, have a beautiful day, and stay on the lookout, because i got tons more videos on the way. Have a great day.